so hey guys this is me yes, and in this video we are going to solve the day 8 dictionaries and maps problem okay that is present on the 30 days of code on hacker rank so before solving this problem if you don't have any understanding about the dictionaries then you please get some knowledge about the dictionaries and then come to this problem okay and then come to my uh, solution as well okay so in this problem what we have given here is that i'm not i'm not going to give you the explanation with this text because it is very long so i'm going to give you the explanation with the sample input okay so what we have given here is first of all we have given the number of inputs that is given by the user okay so let's say we have the three here we have the three number okay so after that we have the three uh, text here okay so what we need to do is we need to first take about the in input as an integer okay and throughout this input we can take that uh, this is the three then we can take that the, there are three lines of text okay and in these three lines of text what we have given here is, is that we have given the name and then the phone number okay so we need to uh, consider the name as well and then the phone number as well okay and then what we have given here is that we have given a number of names and we need to find out the names that are that uh, if the names are present in the dictionary okay we need to uh, set all this value in the dictionary as a key and as, as the value pair okay so what we have given here is that if the like we have given the same then if the value of the same is present in the dictionary then we need to print about the name okay and then the equals to sign and then the phone number okay and if the value of the uh, name is not present in the dictionary then we need to print about the not found message on the output screen okay so what we need to do is let's say we have given the three as an input so we have a next three line of code we need to check out about the next three line of code and then what we need to do is we need to just uh, take all these three lines and we need to make a new dictionary out of this and then uh, take as a uh, key and value pair okay so in case you didn't know about the dictionary then we need uh, then I can show you that uh, we need to add all this value as a key and value pair so in case if we want to uh, find out the value pair then we need to take it as the key okay and then we find out about the value pair okay so I will give you my code so what we have given here is that first of all we are going to uh, take the input from the user uh, as an integer so we are going just like we have given the 3 so it will take 3 into the x variable okay then we have considered or we have defined a new dictionary here okay and then what we have done here is that we are going to continue with the loop okay from i to the range of x and x is not inclusive okay so it will take from i to the n okay just like we have the 3 then it will run for 3 times and what we have here done is first of all we are going to split the uh, text here and this split function what is going to do is uh, if uh, if this is found any space here then it will con it will uh, remove this white space and only take the sam as a input okay and now the text is here in the now the sam is here in the text uh, variable and then we are going to do is we are going to take is as a, a key and then we are going to take as a value as a first because the is, uh, input function is taking the same as a zero index and the phone number as a one index okay so we are going to uh, take all the inputs from the user and storing in the dictionary uh, that we have created uh, right now here okay and then what we are going to do is while true means while the uh, input is given by the user means all these lines and we don't know about this line that uh, what the number of lines the user is given the user can uh, input so let's let's say we are taking for the same okay so let's say the user give any input then we are going to try for this case okay so we are going to take the input from the user so same is stored in the input input variable and then we are checking for the input in the dictionary part okay so if the value if the key is present in the dictionary then we are going to print the input plus equals to sign and the value of that input okay so it will be print like this okay the same equals to a phone number okay and if 
value is not present then we are going to take for the not found message on the output screen okay and if there is any exception here then we are going to take it like the break uh, here okay so if there is no input from the user then it will take into the accept part and it will be break down the a uh, loop okay so that's it this is the code and this is just a simple code and if you have any understanding about the dictionary then you can easily break down this problem and easily can solve it okay so if you find any particular programming language while you are solving this problem then you can also ping me if you find any problem about that programming language i can give you the solution as well as, as well about the explanation as well on that particular programming language okay so now we are going to run the code and see what the cases are so now all the test cases is passed and we are going to submit the code okay so that's it so now all the test cases is passed okay that's it so this is the solution a uh, very 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 easy solution and if you face any problem while solving this problem then you can also comment down below and if you uh, have any question about any other programming uh, any other problem as well then you can also ping me up i can give the explanation as well so that's it for this video bye bye